Okay, good morning. Welcome to Awesome Math number 175A. Awesome Math 175A. So we started talking about areas of quadrilaterals today. Yeah. And it was a nice coincidence because we saw a very interesting um, math counts problem yesterday. Yeah. That we're going to do in um, part B of this. But the thing we talked, one of the things <coughs> we talked about this morning was the area of a rhombus. Yeah. And do you remember how we figured out the area of a rhombus? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, I think, well, we chopped it up into four congruent equilateral triangles. Why, um, why are those triangles equilateral? Four congruent right triangles. Oh, right triangles, okay. okay. So those are all right triangles. You can talk and I'm just going to get an eraser. So what we did is we know these are congruent, so we did, and the area of four triangles, one half, Base, base times height. So what we did, so we did one half base times height. And this was all times four since we did it four times. Cool. So we had base times height times four. Four all over two. Okay. So um this cancel. So we got base times height times two. Very good. And how do we figure out the base and the height of each of those equilateral triangles? <laughs> each of those right triangles. You got me saying it. Well, it's one half of the diagonal. Oh, interesting. It's one half of the diagonal. That's the base, and then one half of the other diagonal. Okay. So, then this is base times height times two, four, which is base times height over two. Okay, gotta be, we, that's right. We just gotta be a little careful about what we're calling the base and the height. Because over here, what you're calling the base and the height is different than what you're calling it here. Yeah. Here you were calling it the base and the height of the triangle. Yep. Here you're calling it the length of the diagonals. Diagonal one and diagonal two. Yeah. Okay, so maybe maybe we can say two times base times height, like yeah. you were saying? Yeah. Where were you saying that? Here, I guess, yeah. right? Two times base times height where base and height are the base and the height of the equilateral triangle, yeah. or it can be diagonal one times diagonal two over two. Yeah. Okay? And so this makes for a handy way to find the area of a rhombus. Yeah. Because if I give you a rhombus, and I say, you want to just make up some numbers? How long is this diagonal? Maybe 10. And that diagonal is 10, and this diagonal is? Maybe 12. 12, okay. What's the area of that rhombus? Well, it's 60. It's 60. Okay. And here's an interesting kind of rhombus. Where the sides are all the same. And I might make this diagonal be equal to, ooh, I don't know, tell me a number. Mm, maybe 5? That diagonal is equal to 5, so what's the area of this square? Hmm. Well, the other diagonal would be 5, too. Alright. So that would be 25 over 2, so 25 halves. And how else can we find the area of the square? Well, we can multiply the two side lengths. Okay, so that must mean side squared equals 25 over 2. Yep. So what does the side equal? So the side is 5. It's 5 over root 2. 5 over root 2. And have we talked about how to simplify radicals like that? No. We'll just leave it then. It's fine. 5 over root 2 is a perfectly good number. Okay. Okay. Yep. And that makes sense because here we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And the hypotenuse is 5. We've got to figure out what the sides are in a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So how would you do that? 
Wow. Oh, if, it's four, if it was a 45, 45, 90 triangle, then these two sides are the same. Yep. So that means it's, so, something, well, so it has to equal, these two sides, are so, something, so two, two something squared, is 25. Okay, so what does that something squared equal? Well, that something squared is 20, it's 5. So that, but 2 times that something is 5. So then that something is 5 over 2. Not quite. 2 times something squared is 25. So what does that something squared equal? Something squared is 25 over 2. Right. So then this is 5 over 2. This is what we got before. Yeah. Okay, so it's a really nice formula to know. Yeah. That the area of a rhombus is diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. Divided by two. Or <coughs> the height of one of these triangles times the base of one of those triangles times 2. Yeah. Either way. Works. Okay. Now let's go look at the math counts problem from yesterday. Okay. Okay.